yeah, yeah. This so, is a, we could have a whole thing on Dark. Oh, I know we could. <laughs> we got we have so many videos we could do about this. But all right, so Wolverine in the future, going to the future. I think he's gonna do. I would say two more movies. He's gonna be in for sure. I think. And the reason this is why I say Hugh Jackman just divorced his wife. They got a divorce, so he's by himself. He's not doing a ton of other acting roles, and I think being with Ryan Reynolds, I think this kind of reinvigorated him because if you see his press stuff, it's very much like it was when he first became Wolverine. Like, uh, I, I forgot when he first played it, two thousand one, two thousand two, somewhere maybe even earlier than that. I can't remember. It's been so long. Um, and there was the interview they did and he was talking shit about the other characters. He's like, there's been a ton of Batmans. There's been a ton of, uh, Superman's. There's been a ton of, um, the flashes. There's only been one Wolverine and that's me. And I was like, okay, like, I think maybe being in this movie kind of reinvigorate him. It's not a, I have to, it's, I really want to do this. You know what I mean? Like I'm not building up a, a repertoire as an actor and I can really enjoy this, this part. I don't know. That's my, my thought. What do you think? I, I think that uh, the heart wants what the heart wants. And he sees all of this immediate desire from fans, from mm -hmm. people that are excited to go back to the theaters, um, people that are really just ready to kind of just have that event for the summer. Yeah, yeah. And you, you, can't, you can't put a price tag on that. But oh, no. Technically, yeah. you can. It's right now $200 million, but it, it's just one of those things. I feel like he's getting caught up in everything. Okay. I feel like if I were him and I didn't have to worry about anything financially. Which he probably doesn't I, have to at all. Yeah. 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 And I could do all the projects that I want to do. Deadpool is great for me to kind of get back on that springboard to do what I want again because I feel refreshed. But his passion is theater. His passion is Broadway. Oh, yeah. Too. I mean, of course. Of course. Yeah. yeah. No, that's that's his bread and butter. Yeah. Yeah. The body is only so good for so long that while maintaining a Wolverine physique for him isn't that hard, sooner or later, it's going to be. And those movies, I mean, you're not just doing the acting. And yeah, don't get me wrong. He has a great stunt double and stunt team. Yeah, there's still things that he has to do himself physically to basically make sure that we understand he is the character. And I just feel like a lot of actors get to that point where they're like, I do this because I love it. I do this because I can. And I do this because I need money. Yeah. And it, it's just where where is he along that line and how long will he stay in that area? I think I think he he could do uh I would use the other uh, two other X Men characters, and you know what's so funny that when you said theater, it totally made me think. Some of our greatest actors have that theater background that other actors don't. You Mc McKellen, Mc McKellen, the, the original Magneto in the movie, yeah. Patrick Stewart, huge theater. But Patrick Stewart even said in his interview, he's like, "My passion is theater, but I love this character, and I'll always come back to play it no matter what. I'll always do it." And that's yeah. where I yeah. I wonder, and and they're not gonna. I wouldn't see Wolverine being. Um, Another De Wolverine Deadpool movie, obviously, but I do I do see it. They could branch off and give him another movie or two solo, the way he would want it, based on the outcome of this. Who knows? Just a thought. Just curious, like what you, you know, what you thought of it. I I mean that's that's a great idea because everyone's got a price, Jesse. Everyone's got a price. No. They all have a no. price that they're like, hey, you know what? I've got that, but I don't want to see another. Wolverine solo movie. I've already seen them and they were pretty good. Yeah. And, and I don't I don't need to revisit that character. I'm not watching Deadpool Wolverine for Wolverine. I'm watching it for Deadpool with yep. Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah, if I'm going to watch Hugh Jackman take on this character again, great for him if he wants to because he again, he loves the character and he's passionate and his body yep. can still do this kind of stuff. By all means, but I'm not going to go out of my way for a standalone Wolverine. I, I'm just not. I, I I need him to be either with the X Men, um, so I can enjoy that team up because that's that's what we really want. Absolutely. And if that's the case, then by all means, Patrick Stewart can come along for the ride. But man, he was showing his age in Picard. The the third season, oh. it was it was exhausting watching but him. That was the best season, though. It was season three. 
No, but no, and, definitely. And we can, yeah, we can do something on that too. But I just like it. Season one, like he still looked kind of like himself. Yeah, but man, with the wear and tear production and all that, you it yeah. definitely showed. And, it, and the, he's far older than Hugh Jackman, so I know that that that's apples and oranges. Yeah, but it, it, it's like. Let's get that one in real fast then. But if we're the, gonna do something, let 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 let's bring the boys together and let's get the band back together and let's just do that. Or then, or recast. That's the other thing that well, that that I yeah. think that like this is a perfect opportunity for a new Wolverine to to be produced with all yeah. the Wolverines are gonna see, right? Maybe not, but that's the thing I think they messed up with the with you know with Robert Downey Jr. Chris Evans, you know basically killing them both off like those characters are are marvel they make the money just recast them batman's been recast superman's been recast joker's been recast like just recast and obviously you want to do it in a way where he kind of hands the torch off or whatever to give homage to the old fans bringing the new fans but man I mean, like if they really want to if they really want to go all in with deadpool and the TVA, they could literally recast every character yep, in yep. this movie. You know, just a bunch of people. You could have the Avengers uh, versus the Avengers. No, absolutely. And whoever like survives, it's like, all right, well, you're the new Captain America for now. Um, you know, like it's just variants all across the outside of Nexus characters, which technically can't change. So like Scarlet Witch is still a Scarlet Witch, but. I don't think anybody else. I don't think the X Men have Nexus because they just had levels. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah. the thing, t the the thing too, you know, going like going back to the Avengers Five, you know, which is supposed to be the King Dynasty. That's where I think they're going to bring Galactus in. But I also think that is where which some of the actors that played the characters said they'll never do again. For instance, um, Scarlett Johansson. You know, she sued Disney about Black Widow, who was supposed to be only movies or only in theaters. It released Disney yeah. Plus and theaters. And um, he's rightful to do that. No, I, no, absolutely. But so this is the thing, yeah. like, everyone's got their price, but they're going to have to recast and pass that on. You know, even if it's just like, hey, new slate, this is the new Avengers, this is how we're doing things. You know what I mean? Like, hey, this is a new Captain America, this is a new, like, uh, um, in um, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, the TV series, the guy that plays Captain America. He he could be Captain America in the movies. Like he's a good actor, very physical. Obviously, you're gonna you're always gonna compare him to the original, right? You know. Yeah, but but he's not Captain America. <laughs> well, no, I'm just I'm not him the character, not him the actor. Yeah, I'm just no, saying just at a right. point though, you have to, you can't kill characters off like you because if not, you're gonna you, they're going to. So the reason why like Echo I didn't like and um uh lady hawkeye and shit like that the third tier characters they're not the main characters that draw the money that draw the fans in to come want to watch it a they don't know them b they have no idea who they are or their backstory right unless you're a nerd like us i'm talking about the normies right okay so outside of people like us who had ever heard of the guardians of the galaxy it was built by the nerdum by the fandom it, it, it was built by the fandom, but the thing is, it became one of their better series. And it, it, was, from, it, it, it was from secondhand superheroes that nobody in their right mind outside of nerds. Us, yeah, yeah, no, I'll give you that. That's a fair, that's a fair one. That's a fair one. And they kept the same writer for all three, James Gunn. Yeah. If you, same actors, if you so, I'll give you that. That's a good point. If you have the right writing, it doesn't that's matter. That's a very good point. You're absolutely right. I and there are plenty of other superhero movies that were before Marvel that were out there doing their own thing before. But that. they but did give them a good background, a continuation. No. You got to learn about each one of them versus, I think, that. So that's a weird one because you got all these characters at once and it worked. They did enough backstory versus like a Justice League that failed because you no. didn't have a good backstory on no. you know on them you know. That, but that brings me to this because you that's brought a very up good point. this. Uh, yes, I, I want to point out that Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy. Did, yep. did take on Galactus. So you have a segue if you want to do that. You do, you do. And Which you know, it's funny. We'll never see another Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Yeah, but 
we we have Fantastic Four. We do. We have we have Deadpool. We have multiverses. Whatever that are happening. You there have been different variations of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, it absolutely. Yep. Been Star Lord. Yep. And we just saw a new group at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy take the new take the mantle. Guard. Yep. Yeah. So yep. we have all this stuff that could technically keep that continuity and get us to Galactus. So you, you have a small opportunity, and that could be the fill-in between now and Dr. Doom. No, absolutely. And I think, I really honestly believe that Galactus is going to be um, in Fantastic Four. He's going to have to, because if they do yeah. it right, because Silver Surfer, they're not using the Silver Surfer, they're using the female yeah. version, which I think is wrong. Stick with your main ones, build them up but anyway, but I think they're going to they're gonna have to tie in, because that, why does the Silver Surfer exist, you know? He, yeah, like, no, that's, you know what I mean? that'll be the first like yeah so, 30 minutes of interaction after they establish the team <laughs> absolutely and I, I think that's a good that's a good kind of way to bridge but i am curious because they're gonna just cameo the shit out of this movie because they have to get new fans they're gonna have to have new fans now because a lot of the the, the diehards are like nope forget disney forget marvel you know even though there's movies that i hate i'm still gonna watch them all because i'm a marvel now now some I won't go to theater to go watch because I'm like, nope, that's not one. I'll wait till it comes on Disney Plus or I'll rent it at home, you know. Marvels. Um, Thor, Lo Thor Lo Love and Thunder, I would have went, but I was deployed, so I didn't get to go see it. But I would have went and saw that because I thought Chris Hems Hemsworth was fantastic right. as Thor. No, we, you know? we went there just because of the trailer where the flick, the flick, well, yeah, yeah. The flick. Of course, you flick too hard, damn it. Of course, yeah, no, yeah, everyone loves that. Um, <laughs> I went and saw Black Panther, the first one, but the second one. So that's no one. The second one, I had no interest in going to see. Yeah, I saw that one on Disney Plus. Same. I, I was like, yeah. Um, Eternals, I would have went to the movie theater to see. Had it not been there in COVID, I would have went. Now, the way they did the movie was horrible, but the comic series was good. Icarus was one of my yeah. favorite characters. No. And I, I wanted to go, but my wife didn't. So I had to wait. So 